Hello ladies and gentle babies, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing your screen, where the hell have you been? If you're into anything thrifting, fashion or styling related, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the squad. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Your love and support always just means so much to me. I really do mean it. It's just so nice knowing there's people out there who are willing to even watch what I do. Anyways, how are you doing? I'm doing fine since my last upload. What have I been doing? Um, nothing much really other than finding memes and TikToks to live rent free in my brain. Hey! Excuse young lady, let me tell you something. Why is you Hello, I'm talking to you. What? Okay, no problem. No, just keep going, it's okay. Uh-uh, wait now. Hey! Single. I've been sashing, I want to mingle, beauty marry. Single, I've been sashing, you want to mingle, holy marry. If you've got any links to any of your favorite memes, TikToks, reels, show me them because I'm here for a good time, not long term. So by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the cloud design that I did a couple of weeks back. Um, I've clearly changed my hair since then, but I know if there's any like hairstylists watching, they're probably gonna be so scared. You know, like, why are you doing an at-home bleach job? You're damaging your hair. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. It really doesn't bother me. I know my hair will grow back, God willing. <laughs> just like to play around with my hair because it's just how I've always been. The format of the video, I'll just be talking about it and then I'll throw up some cutaway videos or clips of what I was actually doing and how the process went. Sorry if the lighting is a bit dark in some of the clips, just because I forgot to put lights up when I was recording some of the clips. I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna make a YouTube video or just make it into a reel, but I decided to do both. So be sure to check me out on Instagram if you wanna check out the reel I did, which was really fun. And also if you don't see me uploading very consistently, but you're wanting some more content from me, check all my socials out, linked in the description below because I'm probably there if I'm not on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into the video. But first, go get yourself. Tea to relax your nerves, you know. Chew down after stress and all that. Just take a cup of tea. Take a cup of tea, okay? Chew down, okay? You enjoy this, man. Just take a cup of tea. Very important, take a cup of tea. Just a go. Try it, huh? Thank me later. Bye. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So just before I was about to do this hairstyle, it was such a coincidence that Bleach reached out to me and kindly gifted me the hair products that I was using, most of them. There's a few others that were just like drugstore things that I used, but I was just like, what in the world? Everything is just lining up. Clearly the world wants me to dye my hair if Bleach are reaching out to me. But yeah, I'll just go through the products that I used when I did my bleach job and the dye job as well. I hadn't really used some of bleach products before. I think the only thing I'd used previously was the dye Tangerine Dream and that was gifted during like a secret Santa for my old work colleagues which was so lovely because they just know me so well. I was always changing my hair colour like every two weeks back then. I hadn't really tried many others so this was a great opportunity to try some of their hair products out. So I'll also be giving you recommendations whilst I talk about how I achieved my hairstyle so if anyone else is interested in trying out the bleach products they know what it could be like. I started out with a shaved head and I obviously needed to bleach my hair to lift it to the colour that I want so that I could get the blue to 
to show up in the shade that I wanted. So I asked to try out the Plex bleach, which I really wanted to try out because it says it's bleach with added anti-breakage protection for strength and shine. I was really intrigued to try it because it looked like it kind of had a similar system to Olaplex where it's not as stripping and damaging as regular bleach. So when I put it on, it was actually like regular bleach consistency. The only thing I didn't like in comparison to some powders that I've used before, it was a very dusty solution. So when I was mixing it, lots of the dust was like coming back up. I didn't really like that, but I generally always wear a face mask or whenever I'm mixing bleach any just to avoid any of those particles. I know when I'm putting it on my head, it's there, but when I'm mixing it anyway, I just don't like the powder residue going up into my nose. So that was the only thing I didn't like about it, but generally it was actually really nice. My hair didn't feel as dry when I washed it out. It did lift to quite a high shade of blonde, but it wasn't the blonde I intended. So I actually had to go in to dye my hair again with just a regular bleach just to lift it to a brighter shade because I really wanted a white base really hard to achieve white hair if anyone who bleaches their hair know it's just for me anyways it was one of the hardest colors anytime I bleach my hair I can get different shades of blonde but getting white it's just so hard because you are literally stripping every ounce of color from your hair shaft but I had to do two bleach jobs and after the second bleach job I still wasn't actually very happy with the shade I got because it was fine but it wasn't white and I really wanted white because of the cloud design and I wanted that to pop so I went in with white toner. It says banish yellow from your blonde, neutralize brassy pigments with our post bleach toner. This I really did like. I think I would buy it again because it did take up quite a lot of the color. But again, the only reason I went in with another product after this white toner was because as much as this did neutralize those brassy tones, it didn't lift my hair to a white shade. I just, I was gunning for that white color. So <laughs> I went in with this little bottle uh, I don't know if it's like a shampoo conditioner or if it's a conditioner based toner but it was this little bottle I'll throw a picture up on the screen of this super drug I think it was called silver tones I really can't remember or silver effects that is a product I'd really recommend it was only like two pounds from the shop it's a wash in wash out color even though I didn't keep this hairstyle for very long I know in the future if I need a product that anytime I wash my hair can just reset it back to a nice bright white shade I would use that toner slash whatever it is because it really did get my hair color together once I had achieved that and I'd got the shade of white I really wanted I was so happy but kind of sad that I had to put a dye on top because it was the first time in a long time that I've achieved that kind of shade but I changed my hair so often that I knew if I ever want to go back to that shade now I know what to do to get to that color so I got an A4 folder from like Poundland it was just this plastic folder that you usually put like papers in and I used that as a template to cut out the cloud shape that I wanted and I used that plastic kind of thing specifically because I just figured when the dye is going on it I don't want a material that would just disintegrate when I'm putting the dye on so I'd really recommend you can use anything really you could probably even use cling film wrap your head in it cut the shapes out or bubble wrap whatever you have lying around as long as it has like a waterproof kind of texture I think that was really really helpful and really essential got that piece of paper and then I just got out a cutting mat and a scalpel I trace the shape that I want you can't really see it in the clip because I traced the cloud on this black paper thing I could see it in real life so it didn't really matter to me and then I just went with the scalpel really carefully around the shapes I really wanted to get the curves and grooves of the cloud correct I did initially really like that shape I thought that was great but then it actually came to dyeing my hair when I had used the cloud that I'd cut out that I showed you in that clip it kind of didn't really show up it just looked like a circle on one side I actually took the inverted shape that I cut out so the actual cloud itself not the cut out and I thought that would be a better thing to mold around and I just really made sure that with the cloud I made the dips very pronounced because when I was doing the initial one 
that didn't come out very well I realized it's all well and good doing a cloud but you really have to overemphasize the shape so that it can show up in your hair if that makes sense so I find the inverse is a better way to pop the dye around it obviously I couldn't do this by myself so big thanks to my boyfriend because he actually was the one patting the dye around the shape so I would just hold it and he would work around wherever I'm holding the cloud and every time we did a new spot on my head I just made sure to wipe the cloud down so that there wasn't any dye on the back of it where I'm putting it on a new piece of my hair because I didn't want any of the dye to like get onto a fresh white piece that went a lot smoother than I imagined I thought it was going to be really tricky to like get the intricate detail of a cloud I know it doesn't sound like an intricate design it was just really where the emphasis on like where the cloud meets I needed to make sure was very pronounced when we was patting the design around it I definitely recommend another pair of hands to help out because I don't think it would have came out as clean as it did if I didn't have help with someone else oh I forgot to mention the shade I used is called blue Lini, and <laughs> I always feel so cringe doing that but I hope you guys can see it if not I'll pop the color up on the screen they did send me another shade called Washed Up Mermaid, but I think I'll just reserve this for another bleach job that I want to try out. And they also gave me the Reincarnation Mask, which I haven't opened this packet, but in the Plex Bleach, it comes with a little sachet. I will say I did like the consistency of that Reincarnation Mask because it's quite thick. It feels very nourishing, but I still went in with my own deep conditioner after just because I have 4C hair I feel like I need a product specifically designed for 4C afro hair and not that the reincarnation mask isn't made with me in mind but I just prefer products that I've been using for ages like TGIN or something like that yeah that is how I achieved the hair design it was really fun probably one of my favorite hair designs and this is the final result i'll either pop it up on screen next to me or just have it own clip by itself <laughs> And let me know what you guys think of the final results I personally would give it a 5 out of 5 clouds because I mean really I think I think I did that so <laughs> yeah it was really fun i don't know what my next hair design will be i've done hearts i've done smiley faces i've done stars clouds i was thinking cherries or i've seen like a zebra print so if i did white hair again just adding black stripes but i've urged myself to not bleach my hair or dye it for a couple of months now because i really really want to grow my hair out so i can do faux locks like i've been wanting to do faux locks for about two years now and every time I have a little bit of length I just start I just get to snipping I don't know why I just always revert back to really short hair but this time I'm determined because the last time I had really long hair was when I did my blonde braids which came up to my knees and I just missed the feeling of swishing and swooshing extremely long over the top outrageous hair so we're heading the goal is summer let's see if i can keep my hair in like protective styles and just resist the urge to do anything to it so send me good vibes please send me good vibes let me have the hair growth spurt that i need and yeah because i've had the faux locks just literally sitting in my hair basket for a year a year and a half and they've just been looking at me like why won't you use me why won't you love me so I need to fulfill their destiny and put them in my hair. Yes, that is it. Once again, if you are looking for more content from your content fave, check me out on Instagram, TikTok. I've just about started. I'm not involved involved yet because I just, I can't grasp it. Sometimes I just snoop at other people's TikToks, but I do occasionally upload. So yeah, definitely follow me on there if you're interested. All my other socials, Depop, stuff like that will be in the description box below. So please be sure to check that out. And yeah, if you've got any questions, video ideas, whatever, hit me up in the comments below because I'm always replying and I love hearing from you guys. I don't know why my hands always have to be so... Uh, <laughs> 
anyways thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day be sure to eat dessert be happy but most importantly be yourself and i'll see you next time bye Thank you.